So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. I say that just given the length of the question. Typically, this translate word problem strategy is useful for questions that are longer than four lines. And all the strategy means is that we want to not read the entire question all the way through. We want to stop in between sentences, stop after reading quantitative information. Just make sure we're kind of like actively reading and writing down notes that represent what we read. So the question says a startup company opened with eight employees. I'm going to start there and just say eight employees. The company's growth plan assumes that two new employees will be hired each quarter, right? So plus two and I'll say PQ for per quarter um, every three months for the first five years. Okay, so this is happening for the first five years, this equation. Okay, and if an equation is written in the form y equals ax plus b, so y equals ax plus b, to represent the number of employees y employed by the company x quarters after the company opened, what is the value of B? Okay, well, it looks like I just need to convert what I translated here kind of into this format. So I have this Y equals AX plus B. Um, of course, this looks a lot like Y equals MX plus B. So of course, I can't shake that out of my mind, in which case, if I were dealing with Y equals MX plus B, I know that the B is like my Y intercept or the kind of like the starting point of my graph in the positive direction at least. So I know that B should be eight, right? Because that's how many employees this company starts out with before they start adding two per quarter. And because X represents the number of quarters, I know that my A value should be two. Right, and basically I'm replacing this PQ thing I made up, replacing it with X. So here's my equation, Y equals 2X plus 8. And again, the question's asking for the value of B. So B is 8, and that is my final answer.